So hi everybody and welcome back. We have two quite interesting products here today from our friends at 2DocRC.com uh, which is first a CCD board camera and a video transmitter. So let's take a look at them. This is a CCD board camera. As you can see here, it comes with a Sony CCD sensor, which is quite great. So those Sony sensors are usually the best out there. It's a one third Sony 700 DVL, 700 television lines CCD camera. Uh, I got the BAL version. They got, of course, both versions on their website, BAL and NTSC, with 2.8 millimeters. So it's a bit of a narrower field of view, but that is Okay, uh, it says a 12 volts power supply, we will try to use it with a 3 cell LiPo, this should usually be okay. So let's see what we have in the box here. So here we have the camera itself, which comes nicely packaged in this little bag. So this is the camera itself. As I said, this is a bit of a narrower field of view, which you can see by the length of this camera. And on the back, we also have, you will probably not be able to see it, this Sony chip here. Yeah, so it's a Sony CCD camera. We will try it out in a minute. What else is in the box? We have this connection cable here. This is again, uh, pretty much straightforward. You plug that in here. And then you have the video output of the camera and the red and black cable to supply the camera with the necessary voltage, which is, as I said, 12 volts in this case. Then what else we got here? Of course, it has a quality control bus that is nice. And we got a manual here which seems to be in Chinese, but it also has an English version here, which again tells you about all of these parameters for this camera. So yeah, this looks nice. And the second product, as I told you, is this video transmitter. We will then uh, later use them together. This is the FX799D video transmitter. It comes very nicely boxed in this little plastic case, which even has two magnets here to hold it together. So they really uh, went a far way to make this really nice, this foam and so on. It comes with a nice manual here, which gives you all the information about it. It's a race band transmitter so you can see it here a 5.8 gigahertz 40 channel AV transmitter so it does support a new race band uh, it has a, a, a specification of 600 milliwatts so it is also a quite strong uh, uh, transmitter which is which is nice and here it gives you all the information uh, I saw the output voltage uh, of it is only 5 volts so we will not be able to use that to support the camera we will hook up the camera directly to our LiPo. So this transmitter is meant for 5 volts, 5 volt board cameras. Always have to take care about that. So what else do we have here? So this is the connection cable. We will just take a look at it a bit later. Your usual rubber ducky antenna, you will not use that in a live scenario. There you will always go for some good quality uh, clover leaves. And of course the transmitter itself, which looks nice. So here we have this cable, uh, which you can hook up here. And then you have here the power input for the transmitter. It does support, I saw it here, it does support 7 to 20 voltage. So it um, supports a quite high input range of voltage and typically they say it's 12 volts so we will again use it with a 3 cell LiPo and we should be good. And here on the other hand we have a direct connection to for the sport camera. Let's see here yeah, that lines up but it will not work because 
as I told you before, this port camera actually needs 12 volts and this transmitter only supplies 5 volts. What else do we see here? here? <coughs> this is a typical setup for a more modern transmitter because you have this little button here and then you have these LEDs here which show you uh, on which band and channel you are. You know, typically when you press the button long you will change the band and when you press it short you will just change the channel of it. Okay, so this concludes our short unboxing video of this uh, nice transmitter and camera combination. What we will do next is uh, to do some actual latency measurements of this setup. Of course, we will first connect it. I will show you how the image is and so on. But then I want to do some latency measurements on this. Because as you know from my other videos, I did a lot of latency measurements uh, lately with recording cameras and also uh, with a board camera, a CMOS board camera. I've got all these different uh, milli uh, second values here and I want to see how this CCD camera compares to it. So that will be next up. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing review. I did enjoy it. Uh, please uh, uh, visit our friends at 2dogrc.com. I will also put a link in the description to take a look at their products. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Please leave a thumbs up. And see you next time for the latency measurements of this nice CCD camera.